Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger Outpost Suicidal, and today I have I have a peculiar pastime that I engage in sometimes. Um, and I, I can get lost in it for, for hours and hours and hours. And it's going on Amazon and browsing the um, the the sexual wellness section uh, or searching for specific niche items and uh, and looking at the marketing stuff on them and uh, just kind of having fun with it you know because it some things just get really really weird um, so one thing that happens often is a lot of things will be branded as like for men you know because uh, you know a, a man can't use a, a woman's you know enema of course not it, it, you know the, the butt is just totally different um, so there will be you know like manly <laughs> enemas <laughs> and I'm like who's okay uh, don't don't think you need that, but uh, sure, camo. All right, <laughs> let's let's go. It's a, it's a tactical enema. Just uh, just in case you know, you, you, your doctor says that um, you know, you gotta. I don't know. At what point does your doctor say you need an enema? I actually don't know. Um, but you know, your doctor says you do, and um. You go buy a camo anima or something. Um, but the one that really got me today was uh, a pair of clamps with a chain attaching the two of them. Um, I'm sure you can imagine what those are for. It's for clamping onto two things on the upper chest, of course. But the the t the, the name of it was secure clasping necklace or something like that and I'm like yes the necklace with the chain and the two just the normal perfectly normal sane necklace it's just a, it's just a necklace so I, I, uh, I had I had a good laugh about that but I, I really love it you know just just looking through it oh another thing that really got me today actually um, was um, Amazon calls them automatic massaging sticks. They're vibrators, of course. Um, vibrating sticks. Yeah, uh, massaging sticks. Uh, the 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 the, the non-vibrating versions are, are called manual massaging sticks. It's it's a, it's oh it's a it's a barrel of fun if you just if you just go peeking through it it's oh it's so good I love it. Um, but uh, a, a, a common theme with these automatic massaging sticks on Amazon is uh, for the marketing <laughs> to show them on fire. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I feel like, I don't know who approved of, of this, um, you know, picture to, to, to market your, your automatic massaging stick. But I feel like showing your electronics being literally on fire. Not good. You know, it doesn't matter what it is, but especially on an automatic massaging stick. I feel like showing it being on fire is is really bad. But it was, it was only ever with the automatic massaging sticks. The manual massaging sticks never catch fire. And it's always this, like, really bad, like, stock photos fire overlay that they just, like, copy and paste it on the, the, the you know, tip of the automatic massaging stick. And it's just, it's, it's the funniest thing to me. Oh, and a lot of them are called realistic. That's that's another like marketing thing that goes around all over the place on Amazon. Realistic, lifelike. I'm like it's that's a 19 inch diameter right there. I don't um 
No. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I, uh, I do not believe this to be realistic or lifelike. I believe it is very specifically, uh, neither of those, in fact. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's just I, I, I get so lost in it every now and then. Just like the way the marketing and the, the pages and, and like what they're talking about and stuff. It's so good. And then, you know, the, the you go to the page and it's got the, like if you ever go to like an Amazon page, there'll be the, the whole like spread below the, um, the like, inf the, the like price and like sort of general overview of it like you scroll down a little bit and you'll see like the we made this for this thing and it's got like that whole graphic thing you know well they they often have graphics but um they never actually like hire actors for it you know they just like get some picture off of I don't know reddit or something probably honestly uh and then they <laughs> They, they just do a really bad, like, cutout of, uh, of their product, and then they just kind of overlay it on it, and then they'll, like, animate it, stretching <laughs> and retracting towards the, the image they got off of Reddit. Oh my god, it's, it's just, it's comedic gold, is, is really what it is. It's, it's just... I don't I don't get into it too often. You know, most of the time I have other things that I'm concerning myself with. But every now and then, you know, you just uh you're on Amazon. Maybe maybe you need something uh, along those lines. Maybe maybe you're out of some some slippery goop or something perhaps, you know, maybe, I don't know. And um you're just like, "Hmm." I guess I, I have some time to, to to look through some terrible stuff. Um, by the way, I would uh, recommend against purchasing um, any you know toys in particular off of Amazon. Lubricant, okay, you know if, if you find something you like on Amazon, it's you know that that that's okay. But the toys themselves, I would uh, highly recommend against. And I would, I would honestly recommend against the um, the lubricants as well, but it's it's at least uh, somewhat reasonable anyway. Um, just go to your drugstore, dude. I guarantee you they'll have you know some kind of product there to to assist you with your needs. Bruh, what is this? So yeah, that's what I've uh, that's what I've spent my day doing. Was uh, was browsing through the the sexual wellness section on uh, on Amazon. Just I I got so cracked up when I um, started looking for um, dildos because I couldn't find how they were classified on Amazon. I'm like I want to look at I want to look at some of these things and and see what their marketing looks like. You know, I couldn't figure out how to like search for them on uh, on Amazon because if you search for just Dildo. It, it, it will not come up with uh, with anything uh, relevant. It just won't. Um, so I, I had trouble finding how to uh, to like search for them even. Because um, when, when when I searched for it, it came with like a lot of generic just like garbage, and I'm like, this isn't funny. I need I need the the real stuff. I need I need to get hit with like. Uh, with with a with a flaming dildo or something, you know, and uh, so it took a bit of finagling, and I eventually found that they're called uh, yeah manual massager sticks, which just it just cracked me up, dude. That's why I love uh, shopping on Amazon for this. Well, not shopping, but uh, looking on Amazon for this stuff. I don't buy this stuff on Amazon. There's a uh, specific um, mythical beast of the bad variety, who I much prefer. I actually don't own any of their stuff, but um, Amazon's not really the space to go. Okay, where are you? 
coming up from behind. Yeah. Um. It's just, it's just fun. It's just it's I I I I, I can get lost. I, I I I spent like probably four or five hours today just browsing browsing through manual massager sticks and automatic massager sticks and <laughs> chain necklaces <laughs> and um, you know enema bulbs for men <laughs> and uh, yeah the, the more niche you can make it your 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 search. The better. Okay, you you, you want to find like uh, you know, because if, if you're trying to find something funny anyway, the more niche, the better. Because that's when you start getting the weirdos out. And I don't mean the weirdos who like the niches. I mean the weirdos who are making the products that they then sell on Amazon that are total ripoffs that nobody should actually buy. Those those weirdos. Okay. Um, but the the more niche you can go, the better. You know, clamps and ropes and um, you know any of that kind of stuff. That's all. That's all. You'll find you'll find some funny stuff out there, for sure. And it is good fun to browse through it. Yo, 4267 is way more than we normally have here. It's enough about sex toys, though, dude. Actually, no, it's not. I have one more thing to say. They're all way too expensive. You know? It's like, uh, I think I've talked about it before, but... Um... They just, they, they, they get so much markup on it. I'm like, man, I need to get into that job. Man, manufacture, you know, simple stuff and then sell it at like a 500% markup. That's what they're doing, dude. Pisses me off. One day, we will be able to freely purchase the, 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 the pleasantries that we, we desire. At prices that we can afford. One day a hero will save us all. But th that day is not today. That day is probably not tomorrow either. Is my guess. You be dead. Elon Musk will solve the problem probably one day. <laughs> he might. <laughs> <laughs> you think after uh, Elon Musk conquers Mars, he's going to be like, Well, you know what? I guess we can start making dildos. I could see it happening. I could see him doing that. Like, just get into the business and be like, yeah, no, we'll just make, like, um, really, really good, um, you know, automatic massager sticks. They wouldn't be cheap, though. That's not really Tesla's, or, um, it's not really Elon Musk's motto in life, you know? Making things cheap. Selling them at an affordable price, not really, uh, not really his uh, jam. I mean, it's you know, I, I believe it's his goal, right? His goal is to make space travel accessible. His goal is to make you know the internet accessible. His goal is to make you know all these things accessible. And uh, the, the the problem is that he just doesn't actually do it. The problem is that it just doesn't get done. I mean, it's hard stuff to do, right? Like, it's not like a, but it's a lot, a lot of empty promises. Is is what uh, happens with the affordable stuff, really? Um, I've been hearing a lot about GameStop stock lately as well. I hear a lot about GameStop. I have no idea what happened. I think they like skyrocketed or something, right? Is that what happened? I have no idea. Everybody's talking about it though. Everybody's like, "Dude, like this GameStop stock." I'm like, yeah, yeah, "Okay, all right. Can we uh, can we get back on topic here? We're talking about flaming automatic massager sticks. That's all we need to talk about, okay? Nothing else matters in this life." 
No, but, um, you know, something about GameStop. Why, like, I didn't, didn't, uh, I think that, um, Microsoft made a deal with them or whatever, and it turned out working out, like, well, so GameStop's, you know, doing pretty hot or something like that. Nobody could have predicted that. I believe a lot of people had uh, invested. I mean, that's typically why things go up, though, right? Is is because people invest in it. I mean, there's also, like, you know, speculative, you know, whatever kind of stuff. But, like, it ultimately boils down to a lot of people are buying it. Let's start selling it for more, right? Like, it's 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 pretty much just, like, the epitome of, um, you know, supply and demand, right? I don't really know how supply works in a... Uh, stock market context I got no idea but um, you know I, I assume there's something resembling supply I, I don't know how the stock market works really I know a little bit not enough to, to talk confidently about it um, so more people buy the stock the price goes up right Cause you can't just like like uh, there's 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 like a total number I don't know like stocks shares what's the difference I really I really don't know I don't know this stuff dude most of my knowledge on this actually comes from uh, strangely enough uh, type racer <laughs> a lot of, I get a lot of knowledge from type racer you know like uh, people upload whatever text they want a lot of it is educational um, so you know I end up reading like a bit of uh, you know this or that. And then, um, I know a little bit, but I don't read the rest of it, because it's not there, right? So instead of, uh, mastering a topic, I, I end up, like, knowing about one bit, and then knowing about another bit. Like, how do you only know this bit and that bit, but you don't know about, like, this basic thing? And I'm like, I don't know. It was on Type Racer a couple of times. Kind of just remembered it. It's not like you can trust everything you see on Type Racer anyway, because... You know, people could be uploading it from books that have been debunked. You know, books that just are not, like, even real anyway. You know, like, like people could upload a, a text from, you know, Bleach, the anime. And uh, it doesn't mean that, like, you're going to be able to go out and, and do what the thing says, because, like, it's from an anime. Um, but, you know, you kind of you use your, your judgment. You get to see what it's from. And you kind of use your judgment on, on how accurate it was and how logical it seems and um, maybe do a little bit of fact checking on it if it uh, if it ever comes up and mostly just kind of run into it in a fairly uneducated and unconfident kind of uh, kind of manner not worry about uh, whether you got it all right or whatever and just just kind of you know get on by. That's what I do, you know. I know a lot about a little, but I pretend to know less than I do. Because, uh, you know, what I know, I don't know how accurate it is, you know. So if other people are talking about it, I might join in and be like, Oh yeah, I know, like, I know that. I know this. I know that. You know, and uh, if other people aren't talking about it, I'm not going to be the one to bring it up. I'm not going to be the one to kind of, like, interject if, uh, if it's something I only know, like, one thing about or whatever. Because, uh, you know, oftentimes it's just... Not really. And uh, if it ever does come up in conversation, I usually end up fact checking it anyway. Because um, it's just, I, I think the fact checking is important. You know? Like, if you uh, if you think you know something, you're not 100% sure, just check, dude. It doesn't take much time. You get to be sure. You don't get to spread misinformation. Everybody's like winning here, you know? It's all good, dude. It's like win win. Grand. See ya. It's getting a little bit late, which is unfortunate because it means I'm not really gonna have much time in between the episodes to uh, to take a break. I, I like taking breaks in between the episodes just to, to take a bit of time, you know, refill the water bottle maybe, um, grab some things to eat maybe. Uh, think about some topics to maybe talk about. I've already used up my uh, 
like the one thing I've done today, so I can't really talk about that again. You know, that's not really appreciated, typically. And uh, I started recording a little bit too late today, so it's it's going to be a bit of a problem for me. I'm not going to have as much time. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's kind of throwing my whole biorhythm off, you know? I think I already know what I'm going to talk about next episode, though. It's probably going to be Fire Emblem. I got a few things I want to talk about uh, with regards to the story in Fire Emblem Fates. I talk about it right now because I brought it up, but uh, now you're going to have to wait until the next episode. This episode is only about the automatic massaging sticks, dude. I watched um, I watched Northern Lion do the uh, he, he did a um, like who said this quote on the NLSS from like three, four, five years ago kind of thing. Um, even like last year I think. Um, you know, for 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 the past like five years, it's it's been a bunch of quotes put away, and um, they uh, he went through it and had to decide who on the NLSS said each of the quotes. And it was funny watching it because a lot of them he said, and you can tell that it's just like not something that he'd view as, as being okay to talk about, you know, in the, in the current day. It's, it's something that he'd, uh, I don't know if he necessarily feels shame for it. You don't think he's ashamed of it, but something that, um, you know, is just completely alien that he'd, he'd say it is, uh, it was, it was kind of f cool to see because, um, I don't know. It was, it was just cool to see, you know, how, how clearly you could see the the re like, not regret necessarily, but sort of like a similar thing generous. to uh, to what he said before in the past, and that uh, makes me think because I talk about a lot of stuff. Definitely, you know, one day I don't know, maybe there'll be like a, you know, what episode was this quote from or something, you know? I'll be like, did I say that? I I did a whole episode on automatic massaging sticks. Why would I do that? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the beanie, uh, boonie, rather. And it's not even boonie, it's video. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe to some more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.